हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर सोनाली आई टीच ए पी केमिस्ट्री एंड आई एम देयर टू हेल्प यू विथ योर ए पी एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन सो लेट्स बिगिन योर ए पी एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन जर्नी वे अ हेड ऑफ टाइम आई विल बी पोस्टिंग वन एफ आर क्यू एवरी वीक नाउ टू सपोर्ट योर जर्नी टू गेट योर बेस्ट कोर्स सो द क्वेश्चन इज वॉटर इज समाइम्स कॉल्ड द यूनिवर्सल सॉलवेंट जस्टिफाई दिस लेबल and indicate the reason behind this property of the water so let we can understand with the help of this diagram where we know that water is considered as the universal solvent it is made up of two atoms oxygen one oxygen and two hydrogens so between the oxygen and hydrogens there are two covalent bonds so there is a rule that like dissolves like now water is a polar solvent so to understand how it is polar or why it is polar because here what happens the oxygen is an electronegative atom so since it is an electronegative atom what will happen it has the tendency to pull the electrons towards itself that creates a difference in the charges basically what will happen this electron will uh, will feel an attraction towards the oxygen so over the oxygen we'll see that there is a partial negative charge will be developed now since oxygen is partially negative what will happen to the hydrogens right so since electrons are away from the hydrogen now so over the hydrogen partially positive charge will get developed that develops a dipole moment over here partial charges or you can say this uneven charge distribution leads to a polar molecule so water molecule is polar and in addition to that between negative part of oxygen and positive part of hydrogen there will be a bonding can you see these dotted lines those are nothing but the hydrogen bond so as you can see these positives and negatives of adjacent water molecules will develop a hydrogen bonding and in addition to that we say that like these hydrogen bonds form between the charges will make it polar molecule and because of that water will dissolve most of the molecules which have the polar part right so the polar part means uh, you can consider the examples like ionic solids salts acids alcohols sugars so these are all can be considered as the polar compounds and water will be able to dissolve these compounds so that is why we say like dissolves like so thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more such videos subscribe and share my video so that it reaches to most of the students thank you so much